we think we're going to see an explosion of cases in September that will far surpass what we saw after Memorial Day. Keeping our kids safe is top priority. Back to school concerns continue to grow, and so are cases in the U.S. alone. About 97,000 children have tested positive in just two weeks in July. Where do, what does this mean uh, for our Colorado community and for your family? Our Nine Health expert, Dr. Powell Coley, joins me now to help us understand some of the numbers. Uh, good morning, Dr. Coley. So what do we know about the cases and kids here in Colorado, and how do they stack up against national numbers? Uh, good morning, Natasha. So science in the last few weeks has been telling us that kids can both catch and spread the infection. And in fact, I personally was very surprised when I saw the data, which shows that one out of every 10 cases here in Colorado is in kids under the age of 19. So that's greater than 10% of cases in kids under 19. And you can see the breakdown there. About 3% are occurring in kids 0 to 9 years of age, and about 7.4% in kids 10 to 19 years of age. And the American Academy of Pediatrics and the Children's Hospital have released some national data. And how we compare nationally is we're actually doing a little bit worse with respect to our kids. So the national average is 8.8%. And Colorado is one of 25 states that has a greater than 10% case count in children. And this is in contrast to states like New Jersey and New York, in which less than 3% of their cases are in kids. So we're certainly not the worst off here in Colorado, but certainly uh, doing much worse than we could be doing compared to New York or New Jersey. Okay, and are these rising numbers in children only because the total number of cases are rising? Oh, that's a great question. So we've seen a greater than 90% increase in cases in kids in the last few weeks, and there's many different explanations for that. So the first is that Yes, you're right. The total number of cases in the country is rising. But here in Colorado, if you look at our trend over the last two weeks, it's actually been going down. So currently we have an average of 440 new cases per day, which is down from 486 per day a week ago, which was down from 500 in 71 two weeks ago. So here in Colorado, that's not the explanation. Nationally, it is part of the explanation. The other possible reasons are because we're testing more in kids. Now remember, kids get a milder version of the illness, and for the most part, we've really only been testing symptomatic adults. So as we start looking for cases in kids, we are going to find them. And then the third part of the explanation is that as uh, school's going back to session, summer camps are occurring, kids are starting to congregate more. Thus far, in the pandemic, they've really been, you know, at home most of the times within their quarantine bubbles, not getting together. But as we see kids, kids getting together in indoor spaces, those cases are going up. And what about the daily deaths? Can you give us some perspective on that? So good news there. The number of daily deaths that we have has come down from last week. So we have an average of 2.7 daily deaths, which is down from 6.4 a week ago. So very few daily deaths. And but keep in mind that the daily deaths is a significantly lagging metric because there's a huge delay in the time of the death to the time of the reporting. So you can get a big bolus of deaths that occur kind of all at once. And, and the nice news there is that our kids who are so precious uh, are unfortunately, uh, excuse me, fortunately are not dying from the virus even if they contract it. And so the number of, of all the total deaths only two out of every thousand deaths is occurring in kids. And so far in Colorado, only three kids have passed away from this virus. All right, Dr. Coley, thanks so much for coming on and breaking that down.